Hey everybody, Todd at Altera here with our owner Drew. Want to make a quick video here just to go over what makes Altera different. We get asked that a lot. Um, the answer to that question is extensive. So we're going to hit on some topics that we feel makes us different from our competition and then reference some other videos throughout it that help further explain uh, these concepts. The first thing is we are vertically integrated. And what that means is that we do not outsource for most of the main build components of our rifles. Um, we are manufacturing a lot of these rifles in-house using our own designs, uh, a number of them which we even have our own patents on, which is pretty rare for uh, rifle manufacturers of this class that we're building in. So, Drew, real quick, you want to show off some of our own parts and designs yeah so one of the first parts that we built in-house was these stocks um, the reason that we did that was because you know we had our receiver design and that's the main guts and performance behind our rifles is the three patents that go on that basically they have the bench rest accuracy and field reliability all built into one but now we got this great receiver we got a proprietary chambering process and we couldn't get stocks or it takes eight months to order stocks so i'm like okay well we could design our own get into production and figure out how to make a, make a better stock that's more shootable than everybody else in the market in less time than it would take us to order one so this is our carbon hunter original it's one of the very first ones still using the same mold to make these ones um, again, our receivers have almost always been insourced, vertically integrated, built here. We start everything, this big heavy piece of hardened steel round bar for the receiver. Bolts are hardened chromoly, start off as this. Some of the other things, our receivers have uh, unique uh, hole spacing, so we had to make pick rails. Uh, we have a pick rail here that goes on our Carbon Hunter 2 stock flush mounts. We went ahead and made those. And we also, in the beginning, were buying muzzle brakes. And we realized that we could get a lot more recoil reduction if we designed and built our own. And the other thing that we get, unlike a lot of our competition, is... Uh, we don't use a self-timing muzzle brake. We actually time them in the manufacturing process, and they get, so again, you get the great recoil reduction, but also a seamless fit here. You can't even tell where it is. It's not just a big, ugly nut. And in the end, we have our final product of the receiver, this bolt. We're able to control the manufacturing process from start to finish of these. And if we need to make any tweaks, we can, unlike some of our competition who buys rebranded receivers that have their name on it, they have almost no control over this. So that's one of the things that we wanted was to be able to create the highest quality products and have the maneuverability to make changes if needed to get the highest performance out of them. The other thing about making a lot of these parts in-house is that we're pretty free to do what we need to as far as uh, investing in really quality designs, high quality uh, materials to make this stuff out of. And then we're just making it ourselves and putting it directly into a customer's rifle. And it, what it does is it keeps that cost down versus a lot of other outfits will that where they'll, you know, pay at some sort of dealer price level for a batch of actions and then just to have their own name engraved into the side of it. So it's just another layer of markup that's going into a rifle. Whereas with us, we're kind of taking that extra layer and putting it back into the product itself for quality and performance. Um, so yeah, that kind of quickly covers the vertical integration stuff. We've got another video, uh, one on the stock design and manufacturing, another one on the muzzle brake, another one on the entire action. So we're just kind of quick hitting these things here to learn more about those things. Check out the other videos on our page. 
uh, let's jump to something else that makes us different. Chambering process. Okay, so another thing that we feel sets ourselves apart as far as the uh, building of a rifle goes is the way we cut chambers, or more specifically, the way that Matt cuts his chambers. Um, we recently did a full in-depth video on this process, so we're just touching on it lightly here. But Matt, factoring in the amount of time it takes, the amount of precision you were uh, dialing into, the machine we're using, what can you speak to as far as what you're doing versus uh, what you think the capabilities are of competitors out there? Uh, well, one of the things I think that sets us apart, um, you know, is we have a full CNC process here. Um, our chamber reamers are rigidly mounted. A lot of guys will use a floating reamer holder to make their chamber, which can, you know, add a lot of error. Um, we're pre-drilling and boring our chambers out so that everything's very concentric. Um, I also spend a lot of time, probably uh, considerably more time than, you know, the standard, uh, you know, gunsmith is going to do just on a setup of a barrel. Um, so we're spending a lot of time. We're getting these things dialed in to kind of a ridiculous degree and, uh, you know, spending a lot of uh, time and effort because, you know, all of us here are enthusiasts and we, you know, really care about making all these rifles the best they can be. And for a lot of competitors out there that are, you know, uh, producing rifles in our price range, but far more of them annually than we're at right now. Uh, it's just cost prohibitive to spend the amount of time that we do on every single rifle um, to meet our needs and our, our quality on such a precision part as the chamber before we're moving it down to the line to the next guy to keep building it. So, um, it's another thing that we feel sets us apart and we'll go on to the next thing. Another thing that we do that other builders do this also. So this isn't unique to us, um, but bedding versus aluminum bedding blocks versus no bedding at all. Um, the interface between your barreled action and your stock and how tight that fit is, is a big factor in performance of a rifle. Drew, uh, explain what we do. So we do a full contact, full length, bench press style bedding system. The receiver is clamped on pillars here. So we bed the bottom metal first. We bed the action to it. And again, we have a, a more extensive video on this. But when that barreled action goes in here, it sits incredibly tight. This stock allows it to basically control some of the harmonics and vibrations. A lot of other companies will use an aluminum bedding block or a chassis, which is designed for assembly and not necessarily designed for controlling harmonics and ideal performance accuracy. So this is one of the main things that sets us apart. Again, a lot of other companies do this, but usually not the higher production companies. A little bit more on that. So our bedding and especially the containment around the recoil lug when it's finished is so tight that we often have to rubber mallet the barreled action into the stock with the pillars in there and everything else. When we reach full torque on our action screws, the barreled action is so rigid in the stock that every time you shoot and the rifle undergoes a recoil pulse, there's no change at all in the, in the harmony between those two pieces. And that's what helps with shot to shot accuracy. Okay. A couple other little things here as we're going throughout the shop making this video that stand out that we do differently uh, are action screws. So we buy these action screws from a high quality component maker, but they come in at a certain hardness that is. Uh, good for a wide range of receiver materials. And so given the hardness value of the receiver steel that we use, we go ahead and have our action screws hardened to an even higher tolerance, which allows us to torque them tighter into through the stock into the action uh, without stripping the threads because we know that our receiver can handle it. Another thing we do that's sort of along those same lines and concepts is nickel boron coating 
on our bolts. Drew, you explain that one. Nickel boron is one of the hardest platings that you can get. It also has some of the highest lubricity. So when these bolts are cycling inside the receivers, one, the nickel boron might show up here uh, as like a ring, but it's not actually wearing. This is harder than the cutting tools that we use to machine our hardened steel receivers and bolts with. So very wear resistant, very slick. So you end up having a real smooth cycling bolt and it's also uh, completely waterproof. How many action brands do you know of that nickel boron plate their bolts? Yeah, so most, pretty much the only companies that I know that use nickel boron on bolts are AR-15 machine gun companies because the bolts are cycling so fast with so much temperature that they, they need something that's going to resist that kind of wear. We just went ahead and put it on these because we might as well have the best possible plating that we can get on our bolts. Uh, dual ejectors? Dual ejectors. This allows for very consistent ejection. It also allows us to change the direction of the ejection so it's kicking nice straight out the port and you you're guaranteed to get that shell outside of the port versus a single can jam up mini m16 extractor yeah so we went with the mini m16 extractor because it's one of the strongest it always gives a real consistent uh grip the some of the other extractor designs uh, are prone to breaking. This has a, a design that obviously came from the M16 because it needed to cycle rounds real fast, it needed to cycle thousands of them quickly and reliably. So we integrated that into these bolts too. And we've never had a customer with one of our rifles break an extractor. No. So more little small detail stuff that we feel uh, sets our product and process apart here. Okay, let's uh, find another thing. All right, one more thing that really we feel sets us apart is the testing that every rifle we build undergoes. The options we offer for Altera premium ammunition that you can purchase with a rifle, the ballistics packages we offer, uh, I feel really comfortable saying that nobody tests every rifle they build to the extent that we do to ensure accuracy and performance before it leaves the door to the customer. Um, Brandon, who's usually in this area, he's at the range testing rifles right now. But you can see he's got a collection of targets um, that are all three shot, one hole groups at 100 yards. Every rifle comes with the 100 yard proof target that we shot. It doesn't matter how consistent we build rifle to rifle. We feel that you have to test every single one. There are things about the barrel that, uh, that we may reject that we cannot determine until we shoot it. Uh, scope mounts, the scopes themselves. Um, the rifle is only one part of the system, and then you've got your attachments and ammo and all this stuff. So we feel it's completely necessary for the price we're charging to ensure a rifle is um ready and worth what the customer's paying for it so we like to take care of that uh drew why don't you touch on the ballistics options that we also offer yeah so now you're going to get your rifle it's going to be validated with the optic that you've ordered with it and we will we wanted to create a full turnkey shooting solution that basically took the guesswork and took the labor out of the cut of the cut that the customer would have to put into this. So we have several different options where we will take the gun out to 500 and a thousand yards, validate the accuracy, true up the ballistics in one package. We have a custom burn turret that matches those ballistics. All you have to do is range it dial to that yardage. Some of our other packages have ballistic range finders that all you have to do is range it. It gives you a dial to on your scope and everything is ready to go for the customer full turnkey they just have to zero it range it dial it and pull the trigger properly 
and we're again we're not the only ones that offer this but there's not very many in 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 our class of rifle that have these options and uh frankly we put our packages up against anybody's out there because we shoot them every day we know how they perform we hear the feedback from our customers on how well they perform for them so going with one of these ballistics packages is a really good option for those who just don't have the time to do it don't have the equipment XYZ. don't have a thousand yard range yeah the range we have all that stuff and uh, we really enjoy providing a premium finished product uh, with all these options so okay so back here again just to wrap this thing up we hope that some of these topics we covered help explain what makes us different again that's a question we get asked a lot we tried to make this quick we have like i mentioned earlier lots of other videos that dive deeper into these different topics and stuff uh, but that's our quick rundown and if you have further questions don't hesitate to call drew keep it classy malad hi <laughs>